Hi everyone, in this video we're going to talk about perimeter and polygons. So a polygon is a closed figure with three or more sides. Let's briefly go over some of the more common polygons. So a polygon with three sides is called a triangle. So you've probably uh, seen these before. It's just three sides, something like this. A polygon with four sides has a much fancier name. It's called a qua dre, big word, lateral, really fancy word. So if it has four sides, it's called a quadrilateral. Five sides, it's called a pentagon, right? Pentagon, fancy name, right? Pentagon. If you have six sides, this is one that you might not know. It's called a hexagon, a little more obscure perhaps. If it has seven sides, this one's even more obscure, it's called heptagon. Heptagon. Really fancy names. And we'll, we'll stop at eight. Eight is called the octagon. So those are the common polygons. So the perimeter is the sum of the lengths of the sides of a polygon. Let's do some simple examples. Let's say we have a triangle, looks like this. Okay, and let's say that this is uh, 12 inches, 17 inches, and 19 inches. So if you had to find the perimeter, all you would do is you would add everything up. So you would do 12 inches plus 17 inches plus 19 inches. You're probably wondering, do you have to write the inches every time? The answer is not really, but you just have to make sure that you include the inches in your final answer. Okay, so most of the time uh, people really like it when you write the inches. So if you're doing this like for a class or something, uh, just check. You know, you might, you might, they might want you to write it every time. <laughs> so if you add all these up, I'm going to cheat and use a calculator. So 12 plus 17 plus 19. I got 48. So this is 48 inches. So that would be the perimeter. And again, it's really important to include the inches. The inches is, is part of the answer, okay? It's part of the answer. So this was, by the way, a triangle, right? Because we have three sides. Let's do another example. Say we have something like this. So here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. So this has four sides, and so this is a quadrilateral. So this would be three, let's say six, five, four. So in this case, let's do centimeters, 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 centimeters. So to find the perimeter, we would just add up the lengths of all the sides. So you do six centimeters, and it doesn't matter which one you write first, okay? Plus four centimeters, plus three centimeters, plus five centimeters. So this one we can do in our head. Six plus four is 10, and then you add three plus five. So this is 10, doing quick math here, 10 centimeters, and this is eight centimeters. And when you add 10 and eight, you get 18 centimeters. And so that would be the perimeter of this quadrilateral. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.